My name is Holly, and I'm the children's librarian here at Alamosa Public Library in Alamosa, Colorado, and this is Storytime Online. It's time to share a story, a story, a story. It's time to share a story, a story today with animals eating sweet treats, something cold and melty. It's time to share a story, a story today. For the last few weeks, I have been enjoying a lot of stories about food. I made a special book list called Fun With Foods, and it has lots of books that are all about food. So we made a story time online video that was all about soups. It was called Soup Stories. And then we made another video that was all about where to go to get some food if it's not growing in your backyard. And it was called Grocery Shopping. And it was about, you guessed it, grocery shopping. So I thought this week it was high time for some dessert. What kinds of foods do you think about when you think of dessert? Hmm. Do you chomp chocolate bars? Do you cram down cake? Do you consume cookies? Do you devour donuts? Or are you very sensible and finish the fruit? Hmm. I dream of ice cream. So let's start with a story about my visit to an ice cream shop, the 16 Scoop Ice Cream Shop. I love ice cream. And one day I went to an ice cream store that advertised 16 different flavors. I could not make up my mind, so I ordered one of each on a sugar cone. I had a scoop of Raspberry Road, Rocky Ripple, Blueberry Bliss, Magical Mint, Strawberry Surprise, Grape Jubilee, Rainbow Ice, Chocolate Chunk Chip, Cardinal Cherry Royale, Luscious Lime Sherbet, Black Licorice Delight, Okie Dokie Mocha, Choco Cherry Caramel Twist, Marshmallow Banana Butterscotch Blonde Blitz, and Peanut Butter Bubblegum Cream Supreme. It had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen scoops of ice cream. Fifteen, I said to the person behind the counter. Fifteen, said the person behind the counter. But you advertised sixteen flavors of ice cream, I said. The person behind the counter said, we have sixteen flavors of ice cream, but the sixteenth flavor is vanilla. We keep it in the back because nobody ever orders vanilla. Vanilla, I said to the person behind the counter. Vanilla is my favorite. Take back all these scoops of ice cream and give me vanilla. Okay, said the person behind the counter and took back the peanut butter bubble gum cream supreme and took back the marshmallow banana butter sketch blonde blitz and took back the Choco Cherry Caramel Twist, and took back the Okie Dokie Mocha, and took back the Black Licorice Delight, and took back the Luscious Lime Sherbet, and took back the Cardinal Cherry Royale, and took back the Chocolate Chunk Chip, and took back the Rainbow Ice, and took back the Grape Jubilee, and took back the Strawberry Surprise, 
Anne took back the magical mint. Anne took back the blueberry bliss. Anne took back the rocky ripple. Anne took back the raspberry road and gave me 16 scoops of vanilla. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yum. Something similar happens in this book, Gorilla Loves Vanilla. And it is written by Che Strothy and illustrated by Nicola O'Byrne. Gorilla Loves Vanilla. If you take a walk down Jelly Bean Street, there's a wonderful place you can go for a treat. A fabulous store full of yummy ice cream. The kind of ice cream that makes everyone beam. Do you see the ice cream store sign? There it is. It says Sam's Sundays. Little Sam Sunday is known as the king of cones and wafers and flavors that zing. And one sunny day, as Sam opened the store, five hungry animals dashed through the door. Do you see the five animals? One, two, three, four, squeak, five. And there's Sam. First in the line was a mouse who squeaked, Please may I have a sundae that tastes of blue cheese? Now that might sound scrumptious to little gray mice, but none of the others thought cheese ice was nice. It sounded quite stinky, but Sam didn't blink. He rustled up cheesy ice cream in a wink. Hmm. What do you think? Next to step up was a sea captain's cat with whiskery cheeks and a white sailor's hat. My favorite, he said, is a sailing cat's wish. Bring me fish finger ice cream in a dish. It sounded quite yucky, but Sam didn't blink. He rustled up fishy ice cream in a wink. Hmm. The chicken said, I'll have a cone full of worms. I like nothing more than an ice cream that squirms. It's funny the way that it wriggles and jiggles. It tickles my beak and it gives me the giggles. It sounded too squirmy, but Sam didn't blink. He rustled up wormy ice cream in a wink. The flavor the cow chose was daisies and grass sprinkled with dandelions in a tall glass. It's simply amusing, she gleefully cheered, but all of her friends thought her flavor was weird. It sounded revolting, but Sam didn't blink. He rustled up daisy ice cream in a wink. The hippo stomped up with a thump and a thud and asked for a cone filled with mountains of mud. I don't want to eat it, he said with a laugh. I'm going to jump in and have a nice bath. It sounded quite messy, but Sam didn't blink. He rustled up muddy ice cream in a wink. The animals sang, Little Sam, you're the best. You've managed to rustle up every request. Then came a voice calling, What about mine? A gorilla was there at the end of the line. Hmm. What flavor does a gorilla want? I don't want fish fingers or worms as a filler. Just give me a cone full of good old vanilla. The others agreed that they'd all been too hasty. None of their flavors seemed nearly as tasty. Mm. <whistles> Sam served
served a cone that was everyone's dream. Scoop upon scoop of amazing ice cream. He topped it with sprinkles and milk chocolate chips. The sticky fudge sauce made them all lick their lips. The animals gasped. They couldn't help staring. And lucky for them, gorillas love sharing. Does that remind you of my vanilla ice cream cone? The end. It's cold where I live, and it may be cold where you live, but we could pretend that we're somewhere where it's very hot and we're in desperate need of some cold ice cream. You could make some easy ice cream in a jar by following the recipe in the link below. Since we've been talking so much about desserts today, I thought it would be a good idea to share with you the kids' healthy eating plate. This is from Harvard University's Department of Nutrition, and they are showing us what makes a healthy diet. They're showing vegetables, whole grains, healthy protein and fruits, a little bit of healthy oils like avocado oil or olive oil, lots of water, a little bit of dairy, and this is my favorite part, staying active is part of our healthy lifestyle. Staying active can mean playing on the playground. What a great thing to suggest. But you know what I don't see? Ice cream or chocolate bars or cookies or cake. The folks at the Department of Nutrition suggest that those are only occasional foods, only sometimes, maybe not even every day. But I really like these sweet fruits. That could be a good dessert. If you would like to study this kid's healthy eating plate and read more about the Department of Nutrition from Harvard's suggestions, you can go to their website. We'll put that below too. They also have a coloring sheet that looks just like this. If you would like to print it and color it at home, you can, or if you live in the San Luis Valley and you would like to come by Alamosa Public Library, we are open and I will have this coloring sheet here for you. Hello. On behalf of all of the librarians at your Alamosa Public Library, I'd like to welcome you back. The library is now open for browsing, computer use, faxing, printing, and copying from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. See you later, alligator, in a while, crocodile, give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish, see you soon, sweet baboon, out the door, dinosaur, take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly, goodbye. Psst, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. For the last few weeks, I have been in...